Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Stray, aka Cat Game, aka I'm a cat and I'm really enjoying it and having a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, in the previous episode, we fell into a sewer and lost all of our cat friends. Yep, there we go, you're all caught up. Uh, and we're also really enjoying being a cat. Oh, there's a cow! There's a flippin' cow on the wall. Oh, you could just take your time to admire all the little details on the wall. There's another cow up there! Look at that! There's two cows! Jeez, this game knows how to really make me happy with animals. Um, okay, so the bathroom doesn't have any kind of wall. This is this is cool. Uh, you could shower while you're on the pooper. Definitely also, I know that's a design choice for um, some countries, but also very cool. Uh, we learned that we could do this last episode, which is just claw the carpet. Oh, the music's picking up. Real jazzy. Okay. Uh, we're done that. Anything else? Is this, is all these books gonna fall? No? Okay, we're trying to find, I don't know what we're gonna find. Need help. Hmm. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what. <laughs> That's so good. Body required for download. Ah, this, this, this part. Enter the door, turn on what? Find a body? If we just, what kind of, oh, this is so good. That's such a good detail game. Well done. How, how detailed is it? Will the numbers like go on here if I step on the number pad? This game's like so relatable for anyone who's like ever had a cat, ever. It's so good. Okay, well, we gotta find a body to get in the door, but let's go back here. Uh, okay, it closed me in. So now we gotta really do some puzzle stuff here. This looks like we gotta like power up all these things by putting um, batteries into them. Maybe we gotta find the batteries in this place and then gotta put them all in there. Oh, we're really getting puzzly now. This is crazy. Okay, there's battery one. I'll take you. Look at me using my brain. I'm a genius. Okay, well, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's still early in the game. Let's not say we're a genius yet. <laughs> It's like saying, oh, I beat the tutorial. I'm sick at this game. Uh, there's a battery up there. Can't jump up that point. We can get here though. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it changes camera angles too. This reminds me a lot of like Dog's Life, kind of like the movement of the, the cat. Um, that was like a PS2 game though, but like just the feel of being a dog versus being a cat, it has that kind of like S to it. I don't, that, that doesn't make sense, but it's definitely like very similar in that, that respect. Um, except I don't think we can poop in this game. We can meow. We learned that. Meow. Yeah. You gonna tell me where? Oh, there's another battery up there. We've moved this part here so we can jump up to get this battery. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a genius. Okay, now we just need one more. Sorry, I just noticed a little lucky golden cat up there. That is adorable. Uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> Still looking for the, uh, the battery. Oh, right here. It's like the easiest possible battery to get. There we go. And then we put you in here. Now what? Oh, secret passages. Secrets. What's this? Whoa. 16 hours per day. Oh! Is this a robot? Hello? Please, no jump scare. Um... Just that thing falling down at the bottom there was enough to scare me. Uh, hello? <laughs> Just gonna knock it off, why not? Okay, what's this? I don't know what this is. Wait, what's this look like? Like a head or a chip? Do you want me to jump up there and put it up here? No, okay. Oh, there's a bunch of arrows in here telling me where to go. Okay, G jump up here and place it there.
Uh, okay. This is so cool, it's a little communicator robot thing. Uh, next. It worked, I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras, a cat in the dead city. <gasps> I'm, I can't remember my name. It seems the, my memory is being corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know it worked for, I work for scientists who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. Oh, I was gonna call it B1 half. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what it says on my exterior. Okay, B12, we're good to go. You're my new friend. Let's get out of here, follow me. Okay. I'm no longer alone, I have a friend. The key unlocks the door, I remember that much. Well, let me get it for you. Get that for you? Get, oh, okay. Battery low already. Come over here. Do we have to like charge you up or something, bud? You're going to have to put this on. Okay, what, what are you, what, what, what are you doing to me? Whoa, sick. <laughs> it just instantly falls over. Oh, the details. Oh man, that is so good. Can I like move with it? No. Okay, we can. I love that. This is so funny. That is so funny. Meow, help me. Help me. This backpack was designed for small quadruple quadrupled tra, quad quad small animals like you. <laughs> anyway, I can't speak right now. Leave me alone. Uh, okay, is it uncomfortable for you? Yes, it always is for cats. And anytime you put any kind of clothing on a cat, they don't like it. Uh, don't worry, you'll get used to it. Okay, I've digitized the key and stored it inside the backpack. Cool. Okay, this game's gonna get really complex, isn't it? Ooh, we have our keys. This is gonna get really tricky. Easy. No, it, I just said it's gonna get tricky. You can't tell me it's gonna be easy. Uh, if you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Oh, okay. Uh, or others, if we come across any. Dun, dun, dun. For now, let's get out of this flat. Okay. I'm gonna say, screw your books and jump on top of them. Yeah. Uh, are we going this way? Oh, what's this? Translate. It's an engineering degree. It belongs to the scientist I worked for. <gasps> Is the scientist that you worked for still alive? Does he exist somewhere? Where are we heading? We're trying to get out the door. So I think I might have taken a wrong turn there somewhere when I pushed over all those books, maybe? Meow? Oh wait, we're trying to go this way. Right, 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 this thing was open. Select an item to use, uh, that one. Kind of weird that you put the key into there and not the actual door, but I'll accept it. Torchlight? Whoa, dude. This game's gonna get really creepy, isn't it? Please, no more jump scares. Please, no more. Hello? Use digicode. Oh, we gotta find the code and punch it in. Oh, game, good job, you. Okay, what, what's the secret here? Where is, there's gotta be a code like written on the walls or something. Oh, code right there. It's behind all these things right here. Uh, okay, let, can we jump over this way and then we're just gonna be a flipping cat and push all these things off here? Get out of the way, we need to see the code. We need to, oh. Oh, I wonder if that will make footprints if I step in it. We'll try that in a second. Anyway, what's the code? Three, seven, four, eight. Okay, now we jump down. Now we check to see how detailed this game really is by stepping in the paint. And it doesn't have that detail. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. Okay, what's the code again? Three, seven, four, eight? Yeah, okay. Ta-da! And now we're free to go. Get out of here. Freedom! Oh, we got another one of these elevators. Wow, look at this place. It actually is so pretty for being like a nighttime game. Why does it say run? I don't like the looks of that. I know we need to go up. Okay, so if we go down first, then we can go up after. Whee, look at me go. Wow, the game's so beautiful. It literally looks like the, um, all of the, what are they, the metalhead eggs from Jack 2? That's what all that looks like, that's creepy. Wait, I remember the outside. 
Aren't we outside right now? It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I don't know, maybe. Possibly? It's very colorful there. Uh, I promised someone I would go there. I promised who? Okay, what the heck? You remember you that you promised someone, but you didn't remember the person, but okay, sure. Uh, this postcard, the mural was painted from it. Okay, let's take it. Just, just yoink it? It's mine now. Wait. Wow, can we look at the item? No? Okay. Because it's just a picture, it's fine. Uh, why do you have, why do I have these memories? How did I get, or how did they get there? Jeez, I cannot read today. I was not expecting to have to read in this game. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Oh, one new memory unlocked. Okay, so anytime we see like a postcard or picture or painting or something, it'll probably go in there. That's cool. No escape. That's creepy. This seems like the right way to go. Maybe. Another elevator slash bucket that we can just hop into. Whee! Oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't like where this is going. I... Don't mind me. Don't jump at me, you creepy things. Okay, I'm running again. I'm running. I'm out. Um. Oh, jeez, they're on me! Oh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't realize they were jumping at me. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I was... Oh, oh dude, I don't like it. Oh, wait a minute. That's a human. Wait, maybe it's not a human. Maybe it's a robot. The slums. Cool. Hello? It's okay. I'm a kitty. I'm a nice kitty. I'm a nice kitty! Please don't attack me! Oh, the music just picked up. I like how he waits there until you get you walk up to him and then he goes it. Okay. Why is this like cutscene vibes with the the bars on the top and bottom? So I was like, I'm I should stop talking, but if I'm still playing the game, I guess I can keep talking? I don't know. Oh! Whoa, hello! Multiple people! Uh, robot things. This music's so good! Oh, hello! Is this the first boss? Am I gonna take on the first boss right now? <laughs> they seem to have their own language. Oh, you don't say. You're no Zerk. What the heck's a Zerk? We're not familiar with your kind. I'm a cat. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Uh, well, no promises there. But also, you're a robot, so I don't think you're gonna taste very good. So they all now know I'm good just from one little trumpet horn. Of doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Uh, can I come say hello to everyone? Can I just hang out on here? Look at me. I love your carpets. <laughs> uh, you guys just... You, you vibing? You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a zerk. Okay, is that what those, uh, those little cre things are? They're, they're zerks? Okay, hello. I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday, bud. Oh. He doesn't like it when I meow. Some of these guys are like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> they all have lucky cats. How do you have lucky cats and you don't know what a cat is? 
Do you not notice that I look like the lucky thing that's sitting on your desk? Is there anything over here? No. This fellow seems to know a lot about the area. We should show him the postcard. Maybe he'll know his way out. Okay, maybe we should talk to him then. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. <laughs> This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place well, except the outsiders. Well, wasn't I technically an outsider if I was out here before and then I came in? Anyway, uh, but they're all gone except for Momo. Oh, who's Momo? He lives high up in the building with the orange neon sign. Well, at least you, you're you going to point me in the right direction. Uh, that's where we've got to get to. Okay. Um, yeah, 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 we can do that. Ask B12 for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. Oh, that's going to be good. So I guess he'll give us like tips and stuff. So that's cool. He could just help. Maybe he'll help us find our way up. But I'm going to guess that it's this way. Do we know what city we're in, by the way? Or is this just some random city? Is it just Dead City? Is that what they called it? A Dead City, maybe? I'm not sure. Whoa, check it out. These guys are playing catch. Oh, wait, no, they're not playing catch. They're just putting up paint cans and stuff. Oh, I'm going to be the classic cat. They're setting up all their paint cans, and I'm going to say, screw your paint. Screw your paint cans. I want to push them all off the edge and be that cat. Please don't bother Vaporaz. She's so clumsy. Okay, we're going up higher. Oh, here's an elevator. Oh, screw your pots. Screw your pots. Oh, I shattered it. That's amazing. Oh, man. There's so many, like, little things in the game that I'm just going to freak out over just because it's like, oh, we're a cat. We can do all these things. Uh, we're trying to get to the big yellow sign. Wait, that's right here. Screw your bottles. It's a bed. <gasps> we can lie down in the bed. That's adorable. And the controller vibrates as if he's purring. That is such a good detail. Oh, I'm so hyped up over this. You just looking up at the stars? Oh, whoa, there is stars up there. Wow. Or maybe that's a shield or like, a, not a shield, but like a barrier or something to prevent this place or keep it protected. But I want to see the real sky one day. Oh, okay, so I thought that, okay, okay, that makes sense. So it's like a fake sky. Are we in a simulation? Maybe. Oh, old TV, another thing. Can we step on the remote? Yeah. Yeah, turn on the TV. Waste that energy. They don't need it. Oh, you can scratch the couch. <laughs> Game. Well done. I'm just going to tear up their couch. Hello, sir. You got you, this Ned Flanders. Oh, Hepter. Okay, close enough. Uh, hey, oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. I feel compelled to pet you. But I won't, because I don't understand why. <laughs> the surface? Oh, it's a sensitive subject around here. Okay, well, we don't talk about the outside. This game's very, like, relatable in so many ways. So they know about it, but they don't want to go out there because it's scary. Except for Momo. Heckin' Momo. Is Momo going to be another cat? Like, I'm, I'm so curious. I feel like it could be another cat. We're going to go up here. I think there's a door actually right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then since we're a cat, we say, screw the door. And go in the window. Oh, he's so sad, but he has a cool rainbow face. How can you be sad when you got a cool rainbow face? Another cow. <laughs> I'm gonna find all the cows in this game. Another one! Okay. <laughs> Hello. It's never going to work! Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now! Hey you, what do you want? <laughs> this picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. It, it's so true. It's so true! Don't go outside, ever! That's That's... A the moral of the game. We beat it. The end. Roll credits.
My friends had this dream too, but they're, now they're gone and I'm all alone. So they went to the outside and they're just like, we're free and they left. Uh, I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that receiver doesn't work. We don't talk about that. Thank you for censoring yourself though. I appreciate that. Uh, my friends and I took notes on, on our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there, okay. Thank you. Gained a new item, Momo's Notebook, 104. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside, good luck. Aw, he's so sad. Momo seems very sad, he misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outsider's manifesto. Uh, we must go to the outside at any cost. We must protect the, our brothers and sisters. <sighs> we must stay away from Zerks. Yes, th those things just, they irk me. They zerk me, if you will. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, Clementine, Zal Zabalbzar, Doc, and Momo. So it looks like Momo's name was added later. Okay. So we gotta find like those three people. I think we find the others' notebooks. Okay. Good to know. I love that they, they just have like a human painting on the wall, but this could be like an Easter egg or something, like the creator of the game, something like that. Maybe. Uh, oh, hello. Curiosity killed the cat. I am now my true form. This is what I look like on a daily basis. Uh, can I? Can I not? Oh, <laughs> if you have the bag on your head, the controls get all funky and you can't move properly. That's amazing. Uh, ooh, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a ball. Where do you want me to go, game? Uh, we're checking all over the place here. Maybe go in this place. Aha! Remember. Uh, <laughs> oh, back home too. I remember this video game. Oh, okay. Okay, it's gonna get meta, is it? I get ya. I got you, got you, got you, game. Uh, it was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it that well. Uh, the scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun, and I miss him. Aw, B12, you can't do that. Uh, why can't I remember his name? I don't know, but that seems a little scary. Is he gonna be the main bad guy? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who the main bad guy's gonna end up being. Uh, okay. More outside pictures of just like outdoors. Is that what is that face? Wait a minute. Can we go into the plant? Can we say screw your plant and just wreck it? Maybe. Okay. If not, we're just gonna say screw your books. Screw all your books. Okay, I'm gonna leave this place now. I think that was it. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Like a lead, that's where we want to go, is that way? Smart. I love the design. I really thought this would be very confusing, not knowing where to go in this game, but I like that they uh, give very obvious symbols and stuff for where to go. Very nice. So it's puzzly, but not too puzzly. My brain's able to handle this right now. As long as it stays like this for like the remainder of the game, then we're good. And I should like come off somewhat smart. Ooh, we can fit through these door pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The music for each level is so cool. Take a sheet music? What? Okay, I'll take that. I'll take any extra bits that we were able to carry. Music's so good. Uh, Clementine's notebook? An outsider notebook. Uh, this one seems like someone named Clementine. Uh, okay, wait, I guess I don't really have to read like all these bits, but I think they're probably important to read every little bit. Anyway, we gotta probably get the tr receipt. Tr Transceiver. There we go, that word. Oh, this must be maybe pictures of all of them. I was gonna say, we don't know what any of them look like, but I guess they're all gonna look kind of similar like that, right? They all have like different colored faces. So we have the rainbow face guy, probably an orange face one, and they have like different costumes and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it's gonna be. So my best guess right now is probably go try and find this transceiver thingy to do. Unless we have to find more symbol. Oh, take sheet music. Okay, thank you. Unless we gotta find more of those symbols, which actually that could definitely be it based on this over here because like this is where we started. And then we went here. So yeah, if we go there, there's two symbols there. We need to find like two more notebooks. Oh, there's a symbol over there too. Okay, so we gotta go to like both these sides and we gotta get 
all these things. Yeah, brain, good job. You're figuring things out. Okay, let's go to the left first since we're closer over this way. And I've kind of been over here once already, but I didn't know what the point of being over here was. And then we went backwards. Was this open before? I don't remember this being open before. Whoa, okay. Look at your fancy couch. Screw your fancy couch. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna scratch it all up. Oh, this could be the dude right here. Imagine if they had their own picture on their wall of themselves. Maybe that's what I'm looking for right now. I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. Uh, say screw your books and jump into this room. Creepy. Um, translate? Hey doc, I found the keys in your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Okay. So do we want to take them? Oh, we do take them automatically. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Okay, okay, so we've, maybe we gotta find the safe here somewhere and then do that. This face on the wall is terrifying. Okay, now let's go up here. Lots and lots of books in here. Holy moly, bookshelves like all over the place. Oh, dude, is he dead? Well, that guy's dead. Oh, take the sheet music. I can play the piano as a cat. Not important to the story, but I found more cows and they're still the same pictures from before, but there's more cow pictures, so I like them. Aha, the safe. It was behind all the books that I knocked over earlier. Oh, it's a good thing. Okay, we gotta keep pushing everything over from now on. From now on, we're just gonna get rid of everything and just push it all. Okay, we gotta use these keys. Yeah, buddy. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. All right, so now we just need to collect one more thing, right? Because there was four notebooks total. I forget what the last person's name was. It was like the one that I had troubles pronouncing the first time, right? It was like Zuckerberg or something. Right now, maneuvering all these rooftops and such is not too bad. But uh, I feel like later on, this is... Okay, well, I just said that, but yeah, we gotta get over there. We gotta go around this way. Should we talk to this one? Say hello? Meet. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. So if I press triangle on you, are you gonna... Wait, 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 but yeah, let's see if we can... <laughs> Got him! That's all I wanted to do from the beginning. I just wanted to, to to mess with them as much as I could. So right here is where the symbol is, but I don't think we can actually get in there. So maybe we're gonna go in from the top? Possibly? Translate. The ventilation power supply. Okay, so if we take the battery and say, ha ha ha, you no longer have AC. Good luck with that. Oh wait, oh the fan's off. Okay, drop in, drop. Okay, I guess we're just jumping in. Oh, and the battery's still in here because I dropped it in. Good. That might be useful. Maybe not. Maybe I screwed up some puzzle. Oh, drink water. Everyone, water break. Don't forget to drink your water. Stay hydrated. We're looking for that last book. Hmm. So we jump on these boxes and we say, screw your boxes. Is that... Aha! Aha! Zal bizarre 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 Finally, the last book. Notebook. This uh, this one seems to belong to that guy, Zed. Uh, all traces of organic life have disappeared, uh, except for what we call the Zerks and the cats. They seem <laughs> to be, uh, eat almost anything that moves and breed at an, an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, that's, that's creepy. Oh, there's also a note in this book. Oh, it says I found a design flaw in the transceiver and I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. Okay, let's show him what we found. Okay, we gotta go back to Momo. I guess I gotta kind of figure out how to get out of here because we jumped in through the top. Uh, can we get out the same way we came in? Oh, wait, what's this right here? That's so creative. Yo, Momo, what up? We found all your friend's books. Uh, we looked through them all and we know how to read because we're geniuses. Hello. Hey, little cat. Oh, he knows that I'm a cat. That's cool. Uh, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? <laughs> Not really. We, we actually found them all, but I forgot to actually show you the note that we found. That's awkward. 
Um, never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Oh, I guess we just gotta show him each individual one. Oh, that belongs to Doc. He was a real huge nerd for electronics and stuff. Uh, he, <laughs> he was always on the verge of a great discovery. Okay. Uh, oh wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's the note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. Look at his face! His face is amazing! Uh, that means that uh, we should be able to communicate with outside of the slum. Sometimes, uh, bazaar, 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 bazaar. And Doc, I'm sorry I doubted your cause. I promised you I'd find a way to reach, or find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find a way up. Find you a way up. <laughs> Oh, it's a long, this is gonna be a long day, isn't it? It's gonna be a long recording day. Now let's fix this junk, piece of junk of a receiver. Et voila, it works. <laughs> I don't know why I have an exit. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gotta actually follow him. It's not just gonna auto-play it. Okay. Thank you. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. Is there a way out? They'll know it. Or if there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small enough and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need to get the little outsider to bring us to the sky. Okay, thank you. Hey, friend. We're, our, we're your new hero. Imagine someone being like, yo, yo, Maui, you're our new hero. You hear that, Maui? She's completely fast asleep on the bed. <laughs> she could not care less. Um, hey, Kirby, you want to be our new hero? Oh, no, he's also fast asleep on the bed. Never mind. We, we don't have any... Uh, pet heroes in this in this universe I'm sorry to say or at least I don't maybe someone else does uh, anyway we need you the little outsider to bring us to the sky let's go we we're hopping on out you want me to get up there hello we oh we can spin around while in the bucket we we <laughs> oh I love that such a fun little detail okay okay oh well I was saying that it was a long level, but this is the new level, and I think that means that this is the second level for, um, uh, that, that was the end of the second level for this episode, so I guess we're gonna end it there. So I wanna thank everyone so much for watching this episode of Stray, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends.